Welcome to this Switching to One.IU Quick Start video. I'm Jessica from UWIT's IT Training at Indiana University. In the next few minutes, you will learn exactly how to navigate the new One.IU site, which is live now and will replace OneStart on October 21st, 2015. The good news? One.IU was specifically designed to be extremely easy to use. Just search, click, and done. Let's see how. Here we are at one.iu.edu. At a glance, one of the first things we see is the search bar. This is the heart and soul of one.iu. This powerful search will likely be your first stop on the site. The idea behind one.iu is that you just have to know what you'd like to do, like find training. Then enter the keywords in the search bar. Click the task you want, and then you're off. There are a few other ways to make your one.iu experience even better. Scrolling down on the home page, we can see a few categories on the page. My favorites, my recently used, most popular, and highest rated. While you might find the latter categories interesting to explore, one that you'll definitely want to pay attention to is the my favorites section. Yours will be empty to begin with, but by adding tasks to this section, you will be able to create your own personalized navigation, rather than sifting through all of the other options, as was common on one start. Let's see how. First, I'll log in, so my favorites will be saved in my one.ie profile. While you don't have to log in to use all of one.ie's features, it's a good thing to do to help you customize your experience. I often use box, so I'd like it to appear in my favorites. I search the term box and see its task icon in the results. Instead of clicking on the icon, which will send me to box.iu.edu, I hover over it. I see a few things change, including two new buttons, details and favorite. I click the add to favorite button. Navigating back to the home page, I now see the box task icon in my favorites. Perfect. I'll add one more. Of course, I often check my email, so I type email and hit enter on my keyboard. In the resulting task icons, I see several email options. I'm not quite sure which one is the correct one, so I need to learn more. I hover over an icon to see the short description, but I'm still not sure, so I click the details button. Here, I can see a detailed description, screenshots, reviews, ratings, and tags. I can also click Start to launch. In this case, the details page confirms what I want to know, so I click the Add Favorite button at the top right of the page. Once I have more than 10 favorites added, I'll need to click See More directly across the screen from the My Favorites section title to see them all. And if I prefer these tasks arranged in a certain order, I can click Edit, and then drag and drop the icons where I'd like. Let's look at another example of how to use One.IU. What if I need to work with a Student Information System, or SIS? I enter SIS in the search bar. I notice that several resulting tasks seem to apply to specific groups or roles here at IU. If I just want tasks that might apply to me, one.iu allows me to filter by campus and by role. Now I've narrowed my search results to tasks that could apply to me. The last key navigation feature to show you is the ability to see all tasks related to a certain category. By choosing a category such as IT services, I can now see all of the related tasks for the entire category. I can also search within that category. To exit this category and clear my current search, I can then click the one.iu logo in the upper left. Now that I've gotten the hang of 1.iu, I want to leave some feedback about my experience. 
I can send my thoughts by clicking the drop down next to my name and then send feedback. So now you know how to make this switch to one.iu. Why not do it today? Getting started is easy. For more information on the retirement of OneStart and the transition to one.iu, check out restart.iu.edu. Thanks for watching.